Hold on to your calculators, friends. We're about to dive headfirst into the thrilling roller coaster ride of personal finance. Picture this your bank account is a garden. If you don't tend to it, the weeds of debt and financial stress will overrun it. But with the right tools and a little elbow grease, you can transform it into a blossoming haven of financial stability. That's right, folks. Personal finance isn't just about crunching numbers or hoarding a Scrooge McDuck level of wealth. It's about taking control of your life, making informed decisions, and setting yourself up for a future where money is a tool, not a taskmaster. It's about replacing that, oh no, I forgot to pay my bills panic with a serene, I've got this confidence. So if you're ready to swap financial stress for financial success, then buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey to financial enlightenment. Remember when you thought you'd never use math in real life? Well, surprise, surprise, the world of personal finance is chock full of it. But don't worry, we're not about to launch into a rigorous algebra lesson. Instead, we're gonna look at budgeting, a kind of math that's more about subtraction and addition than quadratic equations. You could think of budgeting as the compass of your financial journey. Without it, you could easily get lost in the wilderness of bills, grocery expenses, and that online shopping spree you promised yourself was a one-time thing. Now, imagine your income as a bustling city. It's full of life, energy, and potential. But just like any city, it has its share of expenses. The rent for your apartment, the cost of your daily commute, the occasional dinner out, and yes, even that gym membership you swear you'll start using any day now. Your goal is to make sure that your city, your income, is running smoothly. That means ensuring that what's coming in, your income, is greater than what's going out, your expenses. It's like being the mayor of your very own money bill. And just like any good mayor, you need to plan. That's where a budget comes in. It's your city's master plan, outlining where money should go and how much should be saved for future projects, like that vacation you've been dreaming about or the emergency fund that acts as your city's insurance policy. So, how does one create this master plan? Well, you start by tracking your income and expenses, then decide on your financial goals, and finally adjust your spending habits to meet those goals. Simple, right? Well, not always, but remember, even Rome wasn't built in a day. So whether you're a seasoned mayor of Moneyville or you've just been elected, remember this. Budgeting isn't about restricting what you spend. It's about understanding where your money's going and planning how to use it best. Like a well-prepared explorer, a good budget can help you navigate the wild, untamed lands of personal finance. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips. Now that we've got our trusty budget, it's time to equip ourselves with some financial tools. And no, I'm not talking about a golden calculator. Ever thought of your bank account as a toolbox? Well, think again. Just as a mechanic wouldn't try to fix a car with only a hammer, we can't expect to navigate the world of finance with just a budget. Let's start with the humble savings account. No, it's not the most glamorous tool in the box, but it's a reliable workhorse. Think of it as the wrench of our financial toolbox. It may not be flashy, but it gets the job done. It's a safe place to stash your cash and let it grow slow and steady. Next, we have the chisel of our toolbox, the investment portfolio. This tool is a bit more complex, requiring precision and patience. It's not about quick, reckless hacking, but carefully carving out a financial future that reflects your personal goals and risk tolerance. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a solid investment portfolio. Last but not least, we have the power drill of our financial toolbox, the retirement plan. This tool may seem intimidating with all its bits and pieces, but it's a real game changer. It's about drilling down into the future and creating a nest egg that will keep you comfortable and secure in your golden years. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to retire to a beach in Bali? But remember folks, these tools are not one size fits all. What works for one person may not work for another. It's about finding the right mix of tools that suits your unique financial situation and goals. And don't forget, these tools are not set and forget. They need regular maintenance, just like your car. Make sure to give them a regular tune-up to keep them in tip-top shape. With these tools in hand, 
we're ready to tackle any financial challenge that comes our way. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. After all, the only thing standing between you and your financial goals is action. All right, we've got our budget, we've got our tools, but what about our mindset? Yes, I said mindset. Don't roll your eyes at me. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, our relationship with money. It's complicated, isn't it? Often, we treat money as if it's that annoying neighbor who always seems to pop up when we least expect it. But here's the thing, folks. Money's not the bad guy here. It's just a tool, like a hammer or a screwdriver. You wouldn't blame a hammer for a poorly built house, would you? Let's debunk some misconceptions. First, money does not equal happiness. It's a means to an end, not the end itself. So if you're pinning all your hopes and dreams on a lottery ticket, you might want to rethink that strategy. Second, wealth is not a measure of worth. Your value as a person is not dictated by the number of zeros in your bank account. You're not a less valuable person if you're living paycheck to paycheck, and you're not a superior being if you're lounging on a yacht in the Mediterranean. Third, money is not evil. It's neutral. It's what we do with it that can be good or bad. So, if you've been treating money like a villain in your life's story, it's time to rewrite that script. But here's the kicker. Even though money isn't everything, having a healthy mindset about it is pretty darn important. It's like having a good relationship with food. You don't have to love broccoli to understand its nutritional benefits, right? So, how do you foster a healthy relationship with money? Start by recognizing its role. It's a tool that can help you achieve your goals. Then, practice gratitude for what you have and mindfulness about your spending. Finally, let go of the guilt and shame that often comes with money mistakes. After all, we're all human. Remember, money isn't everything. But having a healthy mindset about it certainly helps. Now I know what you're thinking. I've got my budget, my tools, and my mindset. I'm ready to conquer the world of finance. But wait, there's more. Picture this. You're in a boxing ring, gloves on, ready to knock out those financial goals. But wouldn't it be easier with a coach in your corner? Someone who's been there, done that, and can guide you through the rounds? That's what a financial community can do for you. You see, a financial community is like a bustling marketplace of ideas. You've got folks from all walks of life, each with their unique experiences, insights, and wisdom to share. It's where you'll find the seasoned investor, the thrifty saver, the debt-free advocate, and the mindful spender all rubbing shoulders. Imagine learning from their successes, their mistakes, and their aha moments. You could dodge the pitfalls they fell into and replicate their victories. It's like having a financial cheat sheet. And who doesn't love a good cheat sheet? But it's not just about taking, it's about giving too. Remember that time you discovered a killer budgeting app or a life-changing money mindset? Share it with the community. Your wisdom might just be the missing piece in someone else's financial puzzle. Oh. And let's not forget about the camaraderie. There's something powerful about being part of a group of people who are all striving towards similar goals. It's motivating, it's inspiring, and it's downright fun. You'll celebrate each other's wins, support each other through the losses, and together, you'll grow. So, where do you find these magical communities? Well, they're all around you. Online forums, social media groups, blogs, they're teeming with financial enthusiasts eager to learn and share. Just remember to approach it all with an open mind and a generous spirit. So there you have it, folks. The secret to mastering personal finance isn't a secret at all. It's about understanding, equipping, mindset shifting, and community building. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today. And while I'd love to keep chatting about finance, I'm afraid we're out of time. From sharing your and overcoming financial hurdles to developing your very own tailored toolbox of money-saving hacks. We've dived into the importance of shifting your mindset and seeing beyond mere numbers to truly transform your relationship with money. And let's not forget about the power of community, learning together, and pooling our resources for shared success. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to personal finance. The most valuable tips are those that resonate with your individual circumstances and goals. So keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep sharing. Remember, when it comes to finance, you're not alone. So get out there, join a community, 
and start your journey to financial enlightenment. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your own personal finance tips. Until next time, stay money savvy, my friends. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks.